Hello my dear students. Today we have a special class, CBC, 7 students. Last week we discussed about the most important one chapter that is the nutrition in plants. So last week we discussed the plant can produce their own food. So they are called the autotrophs. But today we discuss some details about the photosynthesis process. You know the photosynthesis process, how you define this thing? At first, I welcome all of you, uh, all of you uh, in our Ognamsar biology class. Science Cinderella, Shatani Korniketh, Shorashish Goda, Rastin Bonukhov, Shokong, Shudipto, Dishari, Shomojit, Vendrila, Ongkorn, Shambriti, Devarun, Shomojitto, Shudanu, Srijita, Devarina, Kumshani, Shomojit, Shaktoshi, Devar, Devar, Jo, Promit, Roshmi, Shobresh, Arushi, Krishna, Shish, Dishan and Nirvana. So, to, uh, today we discuss what are the photosynthesis? You know, the photosynthesis is the process by which the green plants can produce their own food. On the other hand, you can define also it is in the photosynthesis process, the water and carbon dioxide is react together in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, and glucose molecules are produced and the oxygen are produced as a byproduct. So this is the most important definition. So photosynthesis is the process by which the green plants use sunlight for make the food from simpler molecules to like the simpler molecules in that process the carbon dioxide and water this is the simpler molecules they react together by the presence of sunlight and produce a complex food material that is the glucose and this process are called the photosynthesis process. But you know the photosynthesis process is most important of all living things. Because any uh, living organism cannot survive without photosynthesis directly or indirectly. Why? For food. Food preparation or dependent of foods is the most important thing in our nature. So all of all of the organisms are interlinked for the food, right? But only plants can trap the sunlight and they can prepare uh, the food. And you know the sun is the most important source of the in our nature. Another one importance of the photosynthesis is that it is balancing the carbon dioxide and oxygen ratio. And next up one so the most important process you write down in the light chart box, the process in which the light energy is converted into the chemical energy is called, please write down in the light chart box, which one is the right answer? The process in which the light energy is converted into the chemical energy is called, all of the students please write down, it is the photosynthesis, very good. Next, and next we discuss the site of photosynthesis. That means the why the photosynthesis are happening. Photosynthesis are happening in the green plants. Green plants specifically in the leaf. But another uh, some site the photosynthesis are, happen, are happening. If the green stem also in that site the photosynthesis are happening. But you know the photosynthesis are happening in where? Where the chloroplast the most important cell organelles are present. If we have discussed the structure of the plant cell, that time you did, uh, know that the plant cell, their outer covering is called the cell wall, which is made up of cellulose. Inside the cell wall, cell membrane is there, right? And plant cell have a well-defined nucleus because they are the eukaryotic cell. Plant cell should have the mitochondria for their energy, but more importantly, plant cell have its cell organelles, it is the chloroplast. Now we have discussed the structure of the chloroplast. This is the double membrane structure. How many membrane is there? Two membrane. And the liquid part of the chloroplast is called the stroma. And in the stroma, a big slide structural part is there, it is called the thylakoids. And they are joined together, at that time the grana are formed. You know the photosynthesis are happening in the two step light reaction and dark reaction light reaction takes place in the grana and the dark reaction are takes place in the stroma 
chloroplast so is the most important side but you know the plant their color are green color why because the chlorophyll are present but who buy the chlorophyll present in the plant chlorophyll are specially present in that particular cell organelles that is the chloroplast inside the chloroplast the chlorophyll is present which give the plant color but you know another important structural part is present in the plant cell that is the vacuole large vacuole is there in the plant cell because they store the food they store the water they store the gas different material store on it next to what show the leaf and inside the leaf the mesophyll cell is there and inside the mesophyll uh, cells the chloroplast is there and chloroplast the structure we discussed that is the stroma and grana now different type of pigments are involved in the photosynthesis more commonly it is the chlorophyll pigments chlorophyll pigments also have the different type which is uh, discussed in the some um, higher class that is the chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b like that but another one important information is that the other than the chlorophyll the carotenoids pigment also be there which is help the photosynthesis right so now we discuss that the mechanism of photosynthesis so all the reaction in the photosynthesis are takes place in the chloroplast and you know the photosynthesis are divided into the two step of reaction one is the light reaction and another is the dark reaction light reaction are takes place inside the grana and dark reaction are takes place inside the stroma but you know the what is happening in the light reaction in the light reaction at first step the chlorophyll molecules which is present in the thylakoids in the chloroplast which is capture the sunlight it is the first step next the chlorophyll molecules are excited and they break down the water that is called the photolysis so in the photolysis process water molecules breaks and they produce the electron and the oxygen are produced as a by product but in the light reaction after the activation of chlorophyll electron transportation are happening and finally the two important product are formed that is the atp and another one is the nadph this is the two important product we get from the light reaction and one by product also you are get that is the oxygen right so you know the dark reaction dark reaction why it is happening dark reaction happening inside the stroma and you know the structure dark reaction in what is happening now the carbon dioxide are trapped in that particular reaction and in the light reaction two important things are produced that is the atp or nadph which are utilized in that process in the presence of carbon dioxide and finally we are get the our main product that is the glucose so this is the most important two two step is there in the light reaction and the dark reaction next we discuss what is the significance of the photosynthesis and what is the different factors of the photosynthesis you can see the uh, control the photosynthesis rate number 1 the factor which is control or affecting the photosynthesis you know the different factors are responsible like temperature like light if the light intensity continuously increase the photosynthesis rate are increase uh, one uh, the photosynthesis rate is at maximum in the optimum temperature also you know the carbon dioxide uh, percentage is much more that time photosynthesis is uh, much more continuously are increased into a certain level also the water content also the chlorophyll content that's also the important some factor which control the photosynthesis rate and the significance of the photosynthesis most important point is that two important 
important significance is their food for all. So all the living things are depend on photosynthesis for the food. Very good. And on the other hand, in our nature, carbon dioxide and oxygen, they are balanced by the help of this photosynthesis process. So you write down these two things, the food for all, and another one is the balancing of carbon dioxide and oxygen for the significance of photosynthesis. So now you write down the some homework questions. Number one, define the photosynthesis. Next question, explain the structure of a plant cell. Next question, explain the structure of chloroplast. Next question, write the chemical equation of the photosynthesis. Next question, write the significance of the photosynthesis. And next question, write the different factors which control the photosynthesis rate. So this is some very important questions I give you. Please do complete all of this homework and send it to me. So thank you, thank you very much and wish you the best of luck. Thank you.